With us is, is Sergeant Joe Gamaldi of the Houston Police Department. He also serves as the National Vice President of the Fraternal Order of Police. We also, clearly, as you're seeing, we have a looting problem. Uh, employees at this mall in the neighborhood of uh, Canoga Park in Los Angeles, they were shocked to see these, these thieves. And we've been showing that video ran sacking uh, the Nordstrom uh, store yesterday, thousands of dollars worth worth of items. This is happening all over the country. That's what people need to understand. There, how could there not be police officers? And what people don't understand is that this eventually hurts, you know, the middle class, especially lower income communities, because then the Walgreens that they get their medicine from, it, it shuts down. Well, you're exactly right. We have a major problem in this country right now, and that is we have taught an entire generation that they are no longer accountable for their actions. We're blaming cops. We're blaming teachers. We're blaming societies. But guess what? When you break the law, it's your fault. And we need to make that very clear to folks. And the problem is, is that you have woke prosecutors, rogue DAs. We have activist judges all across this country who keep letting them out over and over again. And guess what? If there's no consequences for people's actions, they're just going to continue to loot these stores. We need to track every single one of them down and prosecute those dirtbags to the fullest extent of the law. Send a message that this kind of conduct is not acceptable. Oh I mean, otherwise, you are going to continue to see our urban communities slide down. We have stores that look like military installations. Other stores are closing down, and you're exactly right. It ends up hurting our low and middle income because now they don't have anywhere to shop, and you create food and financial deserts. I know. Thank you so much. I like that. Dirtbags. That's what they are. Betsy Brantner-Smith, Joe Gamalzi, thank you both for joining us this afternoon.